This video is sponsored by NordVPN. The screen there would be a file which says anydex.exe. Okay, can you see some sorts of numbers over there? The security numbers, nine digit. Tell me the numbers. One four. Kya harami hai Fibula, I can see the numbers. One four F U C K Y O U. The Amazon order cancellation scam that you just witnessed is one of the most popular and successful scams out there right now. The guy you just watched attempting this scam on an American citizen is doing this from a fraudulent call center in Kolkata. Kolkata is the Indian city with the most scam call centers because the police over there refuses to take action against scammers. This specific scam starts off with a voicemail gets sent out to thousands of people per day, in this case targeting American phone numbers. This call is from Amazon customer support. This is to notify you regarding your today's purchase on Amazon.com. You have been charged $349.99 on your Visa card. If you have made this purchase on Amazon.com and recognize it, then simply hang up and your order will be delivered to you. However, if you have not made any such transaction, you can call Amazon support right away on 319. Most people that receive these voicemails instantly recognize that it is a scam, but there are still people out there that still call the number. That could be people like the man in the intro trying to have some fun messing around with the scammers, but also people that genuinely believe that they are contacting Amazon's fraud department. All these people will get greeted by a scammer in a similar way to this. Thank you for being connecting with Amazon customer service. This is Jason. Okay. I help you so but the thing is that ma'am using your name and using your identity there was an order placed taking down your details so could you please tell me what exactly you want to do with that order like do you want to continue with it or you want to cancel the order okay ma'am now first of all you tell me one thing do you have any compatible device with you like a computer or a laptop the best thing to do when a scammer asks you this question is to tell him that you don't have any devices you don't have wi-fi at your home and you don't do online banking you don't have a computer or a laptop with you okay and uh, what sorts of basic activities do you do like do you do any online shopping or any online banking anything like that you don't do that these specific scammers are, like I mentioned before, located in Kolkata, which I can see from their IP's geolocation. A GPS scan on a reverse proxy on the scammers their network confirms that they are indeed located in Kolkata, specifically in Sector 5 DM block in Pitanagar and thus part of Salt Lake. Salt Lake is the call center fraud hub that is the most densely populated scam area in the world when it comes to fraudulent call centers. The computer that I'm going to destroy today didn't have a lot of interesting files on there, besides the script that the scammer uses to persuade his victims, which is on the screen right now. Using the script, the scammer did manage to persuade some people successfully, but I always made sure the victims wouldn't lose any money. The scammer was not always successful though. Indian people don't work on Amazon? Then why are you speaking with a scammer? Hang up the call. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I'm an Indian. Are you a racist? Are you a racist? And one more thing, ma'am. Are you there? Randy, Randy, Randy. Then why you are living? You should die. <laughs> uh huh. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The scammer himself also noticed that he was struggling to get through to his victims, so every now and then he had to practice within himself. Okay. I'm gonna let you know sort of what exactly you have to do. First of all, you need to tell me one thing. Do you have a proper computer or a... Practice makes perfect, so the scammer did end up having a successful scam. For this scam, we are dealing with a 60-year-old lady from Chicago, Illinois. Now let's very quickly see how the scammer operates when he finally convinces someone of his lies. Uh, yes ma'am, your call has been transferred, so this is Mark, I will guide you right now. So you, you have to type over there, I'm going to tell you, you have to type over there very carefully, okay? Amazon, and after Amazon, it should be official, okay? Official. On the left hand side, okay on the same line can you see there is three options right can you see the first option over there which says any decks for windows the first option all right you have to give a double click on that and open it up okay and could you please confirm me the numbers one by one because this is your cancellation id can you see there is an option which says enable unattended access and there is a check mark right it should be amazon one two three 
once you give a click on enable the box will come up on your screen so right now we are successfully connected with our amazon server and i'm going to help you to uh, like provide you the cancellation form as you can see the scammer is using a web node web page to make the victim install the remote access software to redirect them to their fake refund form from experience i knew that it is easy to take down fraudulent web node pages if you report them by email and so i did web node responded within a few hours and took down the page for me now this is the form which you have to fill up so that you can cancel that order and you can refund your money back the form which you can see right now it's an encrypted form you can have a look over there on the left hand side top corner it says connection is secure right do you see that now you can be rest assured that you're not sharing your details with any third person okay suppose if i'm if i'm putting my name over there like jordan smith do you see my name or do you see the stars what do you see tell me very smart trick from the scammer to make the victim feel more at ease but he did not type any of his own information he just typed those asterisks himself he promised the victim that he couldn't see the information but in reality he could see it and was even typing along in a notepad file after filling out the form the victim gets to see and hear the following information from the scammers now click on click on submit now do not do not click anywhere i guess your refund has been processed now let me check what does it says do not click anywhere okay it says server error why is that a refund transaction of fourteen thousand nine ninety dollars oh my god uh madam how much did you type over there i asked you to put 1499 right did you type 14,990 instead of 1499 oh my god just told on ma'am it seems like while putting the amount maybe some mistake has been done from your end and because of that instead of 1499 the server has processed 14,990 dollars okay the scammer then forces the victim to log into her bank to check whether or not she got the money from the scammers okay ma'am uh i just had a word with the accounts team okay and they just told me that while putting the amount on the form there was a small mistake has been done okay can you hang up the call i'm just calling you back can you hang up do you do online banking with this bank like you check your balance online can you check your accounts madam and can you confirm me that whether you have got the money to your account from this point on, the scammer decided to switch computers so I couldn't see what was going on anymore. I decided to connect to the victim's computer to see what was going on and I could still vaguely hear the scammer talking to her in the background. Yes, I'm here with you, okay? I'm gonna give you the number, just hold on, okay? This is the helpline number, you can get in touch with me, you get this connected. As you could see, the scammer is changing the victim's bank account through HTML and spec to make it seem like the overpayment went through. I refreshed the page a couple of times in the hopes that the victim would see the transfer was completely fake and the scammers didn't really enjoy me doing this. My efforts didn't pay out and the scam was very quickly moving to the payment part. My time of saving the victim was running out. The scammer talks about a bank account number he's going to give to the victim, which would most likely end up being a bank from either Thailand, China or Singapore. Of course, I could not let this happen, so I decided to step in by disconnecting the scammers from the victim's computer and alerting her through her notepad. Yes, hello, is this Dolores? Yes, it is. All right, uh, 
Yeah, I understand you are probably confused right now. I went on to explain to the victim that she was being scammed, who the scammers were, how the scam worked, and I ended up also offering her a helping hand by getting rid of the scammers. Wow, I can't thank you enough. What a wonderful job to do. So if you don't mind, yeah. I'm going to take control and then uninstall the programs they made you install. All right, thank you. Okay, so this one, yeah, see, this was installed today. Yeah. So. That's one of them. Let's uninstall that one first because they have a password for that. So, all right. So your computer uh, is secure now. Um, what I would do is just log into your bank and then just check what they did. I think okay. they transferred money from either your check into your saving or from your saving to your check. And so if you want that money back on either one of those accounts, you can just transfer it back to yourself. Now let's call up the scammer ourselves, pretend to be an old lady, and then let Vladimir, the number one Russian hacker, step in to destroy the scammer's computer with some good old Russian malware. Hello guys. How can I help you? Yeah, sorry, you called me. I was talking to you earlier. Whom you wanna talk with, ma'am? Yeah, I think I was talking to you. I got a call with a, somebody saying I ordered an iPhone what's 11. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Pamela Boiler. So do you use any kind of a computer or a laptop? I have a laptop. Okay, just look at the very top of your screen. There's a search box over there. Can you see that, the search box? Now type it over there, anydesk.com. Enable unattended access. Give a click on enable unattended access. Okay. Type over there, Amazon 2-1. Okay. A-M-A-Z-O-N, then 2-1, without any spaces. Yes. Then confirm that password, Amazon 2-1. Yeah, okay. Now, can you see, uh, extremely left-hand side top corner, there is, a, a, like, a three options over there, any day setting. I can see security. Just, okay, you just minimize that page. Hello. Before we get into one of the funniest confrontations on my channel, I quickly want to thank NordVPN for making this video possible. I'm sure everyone knows what NordVPN is, and you have probably seen me or other YouTubers promote their service, and this is not without a reason. Having a VPN is just as important to me as having antivirus software, or even as having a lock on your front door. Whenever my computer starts up, NordVPN will run silently in the background and hide my IP address at all times. I don't even realize the VPN is on, as the speeds with NordVPN are almost identical to when I have it turned off. Not only does NordVPN protect your online identity? There's also tens of other benefits that come with this VPN, like a strict no login policy and watching Netflix shows from other countries. Not only is it the best VPN out there right now, it's also very affordable. If you use my link, nordvpn.com slash scambaiter, or my discount code scambaiter, you'll get a two year plan with 70% discount, and you will also receive four months of hacker free browsing for nothing. Protecting your online identity for like two bucks a month, it sounds like a good deal to me. This is again only available if you use my link, nordvpn.com slash scambaiter, or my code scambaiter. Please make sure you're protected when using any device that has internet and now let's get back into the confrontation hello hello yeah why are you trying to scam my mother <laughs> do you know who i am i know that who you are and your system is totally hacked by me i'm going to hack you, know? you. i'm going to hack you oh my god this You're is vladimir number one russian hacker oh my god really yes i'm going to hack your system okay uh, all right now yeah. You don't think I no, can no, do that? No, 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 you are thinking, no, you are thinking like we are a fool. You don't think right? I can hack you. If you, you are a bad, you then I'm your dad, you. you fucking asshole. You don't think if I can hack you, bad, you what? If you are a bad, then I'm your dad, you I'm fucking asshole. I'm going to hack your entire call center, okay? I totally hacked your old Remember system. Remember my now voice. You cannot... Remember my no. voice. I fuck your voice too. <laughs> you have to remember this voice, because you're gonna hear this when I hack your system. Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah, what happened? You try to scam my mother. Do you know? Do you know what I'm telling you? Do you know who I am or not? Who are you? This is Vladimir, number one Russian hacker. Okay, so what what can I do? You try to scam my mother, now you're going to feel the pain. Okay, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, okay, mother. I'm going to hack your computer, okay? I'm fuck your mother and fuck your sister, whole yeah, you family. you are done for, bro. You made a you made a big mistake. You made big mistake. I have an, I have Remember a Remember my voice. Speak. Remember my voice, okay? I will speak to you soon. I will hack your computer, mother. Raga, boy, abhi ek jan se baat kiye. Boy ka heart beat bade gaya. Uska access le liye the magar in the desk mein. Hum bhi harami hai, boy. Pehle do lady ka baat se baat kiya mere se. Pura boy robotics lag raha. Break bolo. As you could hear the scammer say, he went to go on a break. I called him back the next day and we had a heated conversation. Unfortunately, my audio is pretty terrible on this one, but it's still very fun to watch. The motherfucker is the motherfucker. What? Oh, why? 
भाई हैकर का एक तो कंसोल लिया था एक्सेप्ट एंड कंटिन्यू करेगा देख करेक्ट भी कर लिया मादर चोर अब उसका माँ चो देगा माँ का बोल गुड बी अलाउ हे वट हैपन लिसन वट लिसन आई एम योर फादर Do you know that I am your? You fuck my computer. Shut up, motherfucker. Tera maga bolu bolna. Tera maga bolu randi ka ladka. Tera maga. Randi ka ladka. Tera maga. You are motherfucker. You know that. You bloody bullshit. Yes, I want. I am going to challenge you. I will fuck your mom. I will fuck your mom very hard. So you can't even imagine. So do you see any desk on the top? Do you see that? Is a password. Is a try again. Password is scam. Later, call it in X because I am not a scammer. I am a hacker. I will show you. I will show your computer. Do you know that who am I? Do you know that who am I? Yes. Oh my God. This is my IP address. Oh my. Oh my God. Ah oh motherfucker. You are a motherfucker. Give a click on accept. Give a click on accept, and I will fuck you in your mother and in your wife. Okay? Do you know that? Who am I, motherfucker? It's a United States of America. Oh my God! Is this? You are a loser. You are a loser. You are a liar. You are a fucker. You are a bloody bitch. You are a fucking bitch. It's you are a na jaaye jawlat tera maa ka bul. No, I will fuck you. It's your asshole, your mother asshole, and your your wife asshole. Your mother fucker. You are a bloody bitch. Abba, agar police ko de dega to. Mera awaz check karega to. Kya kar raha hai jishani wala? Back to console aaja, bhai. Hacker log ko piche gaad mara diye mera. To sell ho jaaye console to. सेल हो जाए सोच लो बड़ा यूट्यूब में मेरा नाम फट जाएगा मेरा वॉइस हम बोलेंगे उसको ऐसे ऐसे करो फिर क्या हुआ डिटेक्ट करते हैं अभी उसका आवाज कहाँ कहाँ से मिल रहा है मेरा भी आवाज यूट्यूब में फेमस हो जाएगा मेरा भी वीडियो यूट्यूब में फेमस हो जाएगा जैन स्कैमर Nice. This camera just revealed his own name to us. All right, I think it's time to destroy his computer now. अगर हम लोग एक तो एक दो एक तो जो वायर हो गया ना या बड़ा सेल हो गया ना Yes, hello my friend. Hello my friend, can you hear me? Hello, Scammer. Hello. Yeah, man, I told you. Why why did you mess with me, my friend? Bro, can you hear? I know you can hear me, man. Talk to me. You don't think I can hack? What happened, man? Hey, bro, listen. If you talk to me, I will give you your computer back, okay? This is Vladimir, number one Russian hacker. I told you not to. Hello. Hey man, can you yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, my friend. Why did you challenge me? I told you yes, I'm number I one Russian you. hacker. Oi hacker, oi hacker. Yes, I'm number one Russian hacker. Why hacker did you? In your ass. Why did you try to scam my mother, you mother? I I hack your computer. I challenge you. I challenge. Oh, okay. 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 It was like I challenge you, I challenge you, and he just shut down. All right, guys. <coughs> Sorry. All right, guys. That was it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like before you leave, and also subscribe. We're on the way to one million, and you could contribute. If you want to contribute even more? I have a Patreon and a PayPal in the description for financial support for my fight on the scammer battlefield. Hope you have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay cautious. Bye bye.